Lenny from Katy, Texas. Fantastic. Got it. Glad you made it. Thanks, sir. And your instructor will be glad to hear that you made it on as well. So we all want to know that you made it on, especially the person who got you here and brought you into this team. We want to know that you made it on. I love hearing from new people and seeing the new states, Tanya and Rory. They love hearing from new people and seeing the new states being represented. If it's your first Tuesday night, I'm going to go ahead and call last call. If it's your two, first Tuesday night or second, you didn't get a chance to say hello last weekend. This Click on that is, uh, little button. It's my go ahead, Charles. Not, yeah. Where are you calling in from, Charles? Charles Rock, and we'll figure out later where you called in from. Just glad you made it. If it's your first Tuesday night, do like Charles just did. Click on the little microphone or hold down the space bar on your keyboard. Say hello, and don't forget to tell us what state you're calling in from. Hi. And... Go ahead. Hi, I'm Ashley. I'm from Ohio. There you are, Ashley. I see you now. Ohio Different screens are lined up with the little yellow ring. Glad you made it, Ashley. Thank you. Me too. It's my first time. I'm excited. Guys. Welcome. Fantastic. Hi, this is Teresa from Minnesota. Teresa from Minnesota. Fantastic. Thank you. Welcome. Glad you made it. That's, Hi, I'm Maggie. That. Hi, I'm Maggie. Where are you calling in from? South Carolina. South Carolina is in the house. Thank you, dear. Glad you made it. Go ahead, Hi, Charles. David. Go ahead, at David. <laughs> East Tennessee. Sorry about that. At Charles North, Rock from East Tennessee. Camera, yeah. Fantastic. Where are you calling in from, David? Uh, California, Orange County. Orange County, California is now in the house, too. Thank you, Charles. Thank you, David. Glad you both made it. Anybody else? Got a couple of seconds. Ellis, where are you calling in from? Massachusetts. Massachusetts, now in the house. And you are caller number 21. Thank you very much, Ellis. So, like I said, every week there's somewhere between 20 and 30 brand new people joining the team, joining the family. It's great to see. Uh, we love seeing new faces and welcoming you. We're glad you made it, but we also see, love seeing the new states being represented. So I'm going to go ahead. We have to get going. I'm sure unless Linda wants to read off who is in chat while I do this. Go ahead. Shanil? Shanil. Shanil. Thank you. Where are you calling in from, Shanil? I'm calling from Alabama. Fantastic. Alabama. Welcome. Glad you awesome. made it. Your caller number 22, I'm going to hit some buttons while one Linda double checks the chat there for me. I'm going to shut all yeah, this off. So nothing. That's just a bunch of instructors. We're good. All right, fantastic. I'm going to hit this other button. And I got to hit this big button, which is going to meet you too, Linda, but here we go. <laughs> all right, so then I'm going to hit somebody already hit record for me. Thank you very much. That was probably uh, one of our co-founders. Welcome, everybody, to the Triple R247 team conference call. You're in the right place at the right time. This is where you're supposed to be. And I congratulate you for joining you at such a fantastic time because there's a lot of big things happening right now. And you couldn't have joined at a better time than what we have going on right now. So for all you new folks, my name is Niall Eddy. I'm calling tonight from the great state of Utah where I'm visiting family, but I'm actually from Florida. Uh, that's my home base. So I've been traveling around the country a little bit, went all through Texas, up in the Sanford, uh, um, Napa Valley, California, and then back to Dallas for a convention. Now I'm back up in Utah. And it's been a fantastic trip. We've got a lot accomplished. We've been working on a lot of things. Um, I'm extremely excited about the future. The things that are happening are amazing. Um, and what our co-founders are going to be here in a minute to share that with you. So I've been in this industry now for 35 years, right? For 30 of those 35 years, I've known our co-founders, Roy and Tanya Rickard. And I tell you, it's amazing. I was a young entrepreneur and I was just looking for a way to advertise my business all over the country. And everybody told me to go talk to this Rory guy. I was in love with this industry and I needed to talk to somebody at the right industry. Why was I loving this industry? Because it changed my life. It opened up doors for me, folks, that I never knew existed. When I got started 35 years ago, I was just looking for a way to make an extra 500 or 1,000 bucks a month to spoil my kids on the weekends, right? Because I was all about my kids. Anything I could do to just spend extra money and, and have more fun with my kids, I was all about it. It only took me a few short months to realize that this was a lot more than that. When I met some of the people that I met back then, and the Rickers were one of them, I realized that 
whatever I could dream, whatever I could think of, I was going to be able to accomplish it with this industry. So I dove in. I became a really good student of the industry. I became a really good student of the system that I was using back then, which is nothing compared to the technology you have today. But I dove in and became the best student I could. I poured my heart and soul into it. I did. I was back in school to be uh, become an aviation mechanic at the time, getting my associate's degree in avionics. I got letters of recommendation and went to work at the airport. I was only at that airport for eight months when I realized it was no longer advantageous for me to go to work anymore. I was having too much fun getting, and I could see a path where I could spend even more time with my kids. And I was already making as much of my part-time business as I was at the airport. So I fell in love. I knew it was a good decision. I went in and gave my notice. I walked away from my J-O-B 35 years ago and I've never looked back. And it's been the best decision of my life and opened up doors for me. I didn't know existed. I met people from all over the country and then all over the world because of the systems that we're using. Um, and, and it's just, it, it created two things that were important to me, time freedom. It gave me the ability to spend more time with my kids. For all you dads out there, you're going to understand this and get this real quick. I was that dad who got to put my kids on the bus, take my kids off the bus. I went to every football practice with my son from the time that helmet was bigger than him and all the way up through high school. I went to every volleyball practice because I had a daughter that played volleyball. And I went to every cheer camp because I had a daughter that was a cheerleader. I got to spend all the time that I can imagine and, and with my kids. And guess what? When the high school needed a bowling coach, I raised my hand, and became the bowling host for their travel league because they gave me a chance to spend more time with my kids. My children were, were everything to me and my whole driving force. And when I learned what this industry could do, and that was give me the time freedom spend more time with them and the financial freedom to do everything that we could dream together, go on trips together and buy them whatever their hearts desired without spoiling and run. Um, and not feeling guilty about how much I put on my credit card that week or that weekend or, or whatever it was they're purchasing. I realized that there is nothing out there that can have this kind of an impact on other people's lives like this industry can. So I became a full-time student and I dove in with my heart and soul and I said earlier, I was looking for a way to advertise all over the country. And I needed the voicemail that could handle as much load as I could put at it. Everybody told me to talk to this Rory Rickard guy. So I finally had a chance to do that. I called the number. I called Rory Rickard. I met this young kid that was barely out of high school, it seemed at the time. And um, I told him what I needed. And he had, I, suddenly I met this young guy with all this this passion to teach other people, this passion to share a system that he put together. And he had a love for mass communication like I've never seen before. He hooked me up with the best voicemail and it did take all the volume I could throw at it. But also here's the one thing it did that was different. As I built a network of people around the country, his system that he put together with that software brain of his allowed me to shoot a message out to everybody at the same time, thousands of people all at the same time. And the, right now, today, there's so many young folks going, so what? We do that every day, right? This was in 1992, David Cox. We didn't have the internet. We didn't have cell phones. We didn't have any of the technology we have today. But we did have this young kid named Rory Rickard with that software brain of his and a love for mass communication that showed us how that we could do that. But when the internet did come out and started hitting our homes in 93, 94, and we were starting to put those, well, the monitors were about this big back then. Remember, it took two people to carry that monitor in the house and set it up on the kitchen counter of the office desk, right? Becky's laughing because she knows exactly what I'm talking about. And, and I had a 286 on dial-up back then. Becky, that was my first computer. When the internet did hit everybody's home and we could get online and we could get not just the nation, but we could spread around the globe, that's when Rory really found his niche. He left that telecommunication company, jumped online, became the number one guru in lead generation and he still holds that title today. How did he do it? His, his software brain, his understanding of, of search engine optimization and how to advertise and how to market. Marketing is what he does best. So he got online and he became the number one guru and he nurtured every relationship that he ever had from, from the early 90s until today. He still holds that title. He built several lead successful lead generation companies but then he started getting into websites and building the websites. And some of us that have been around for a while, you're here for one of the speakers uh, later today, we've used his early websites. 
he was creating websites better than anybody else out there could do. The results from his websites were outproducing everybody else out there. So we started using his websites and building all over the world, right? And he became the number one, one of the top gurus in website building as well. And what we've accomplished over the years, we've sold, we've marketed so many different products and services that, and we've made millions of dollars throughout the years, but we've, I'm telling you guys right now, we've never had it as good as we have right now. The technology that we have because of this guy and all the relationships that he's built over the planet, we've never had it as good as we have it right now. After getting to know Rory, <clears throat> excuse me, I found out that he was going to attend an event that I was going to in Miami. And that's when I got to meet him face to face for the first time. We built a great relationship over the phone. We became friends over the phone. But when I went to Miami, I got to look in his eyes and shake his hand and, and see his energy. He's one of those people who don't look away when you're talking to him. He really wants to know your story and he really wants to know how he can help you build your business. And that's the kind of human being that you guys are getting your business with today. I knew right away when I met him that first time in Miami, I was going to know this guy for the rest of my life. I wanted him to be a part of my life. I had no idea how good it was going to get. I had no idea where we were going or what was going to develop. Um, but I knew that I wanted to be a part of his life for the rest of my life. And that's what's happened. And over the years, we've become very good friends and we've become best friends. And I call him my brother. I call him family. As a matter of fact, that's the family that I'm visiting in Utah right now because they are family to me. And Rory just had an uncanny way to predict future trends, future markets, and, and stay on top of everything, stay on top of the technology stay on top of what's happening in the marketplace and make sure that he kept all of us in front of that technology and in front of those trends in the marketplace as well. But guess what? A couple of years after getting to meet him, I got to fly out to Utah and meet his wonderful wife, our co-founder, the other person that's part of the biggest part of this uh, is Tanya Rickard. I walked in that door of their home that day and I met this young lady who was raising seven children, running several businesses herself, and helping Rory get this put together so he could uh, stay on time and stay focused and stay organized. And Rory was bringing in lots of people and Danny was helping train them. And I thought, how does how do these two people get this much done in a day? And then I see how organized she is. She plans every minute of every hour, every hour of every day, every day of every week and every week. And she plans things two years out. We just had a conversation a little bit earlier where she's already got like the eight, next eight months well planned out. And it didn't surprise me one bit because that's the kind of person she is. Together, I knew that they complemented each other perfectly and they were going to become one of the power couples on this planet. And to me, and I tell this story every week, Jim Rohn told me something when I met him 25, 26, 27 years ago. The true legends on this planet are the people who find the ways to service the most other people. To me, that's the definition of Rory and Tanya Rickard. That, folks, is who you're getting the business with. Every morning they wake up, have a cup of coffee, have a, a media meeting, and have a and talk about this system and all of you, including you, David Cox, the brand new person that just got involved. Every morning they sit down and talk about what can we do to make this better? What can we add to the system to help David build the business and achieve whatever it is that he came here to achieve? What can we do to help more people, reach out to more folks? Um, and what, you know, what can we add to this system to bring more relevance to the marketplace and have a positive impact on other people's lives. We started out with a goal of hitting like 10 million families. I think we discussed it six months ago amongst all the MSIs here, the top instructors. We upped that number to 50 million families. And I think what we're talking about today is touching at least 100 million families. That's a whole lot of people, but that's the kind of people you're getting in business with. We want to just get on every country in every country, on every continent, all around this planet, stomp out poverty in every corner that we had, reach out and give as many people a hand up as we can, have a positive impact on their life in any way that we can. And you are part of a company that's led by two people who spend every day thinking about how can we accomplish that? What can we do to make it better? What can we add to it? And that's who you're getting in business with. So congratulations to you, however you found your way here. Congratulations to you for being in the right place at the right time. Um, and it's my pleasure to be the first person to introduce to you the people you're getting business with. And they've got some great things to share with you tonight. So I think I'm going to introduce one of our co-founders right now. And I'm going to go ahead and introduce Rory. 
This is my brother, best friend, family member, our leader, our co-founder, also one of my mentors, even though he's one or two years younger than me. Okay, 10 years younger than me. <laughs> you guys are in for a treat tonight. Welcome to Triple R247. And without any further delay, I'm going to turn the microphone over to our co-founder, Mr. Rory Rickard. It's all yours. We can't wait to hear what you're going to share and what's happening tonight. Um, thanks. Thanks so no, much, Niall. Right. And I, you guys, I'm, I'm always so thrilled when we have a lot of new people on every week. And, you know, we have a machine here. We're bringing new people in and we, we know how to advertise and market. And remember, the law of marketing states nothing sells itself. And even though we have a solution to help any family that wants to dive in in this, follow the system, do what we do to get what we get, we still have to market it. We still have to market it. Nothing just brings people to it. You know, they're looking for a solution. We just got to get in front of them. And we have this massive budget to do so. And it's because of the success this creates. And I, I, I'm just going to let you guys know um, three things. One, don't miss a Tuesday call. We, we, we have hit a tipping point where things are going to get super amazing. They've already been great. But we've been working on projects since 2017 in this education. We've been working on a legal program. And I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna bring on a very dear friend of mine. We've done you know millions and millions of dollars in business together. He has always been a man of his word. He's, he's someone that I'm very happy to, to, to consider a friend. You know, you, you, if you're lucky to have true friends. If you can count your true friends on one hand, you're very lucky. If you can get them on two hands, you're extremely lucky. Um, he, he's on my hand. And you guys, he comes from a very similar direction that I come from. We, we have a lot of things in common. And for those of you that really have been following the teachings of Jim Rohn, Jim Rohn was maybe even more so an influence with our, the gentleman I'm going to bring on here in a second. We got to share a lot of the same mentorships and understandings, shared truths, I call them. And I'm, I'm really thrilled to bring him on. I just want to make sure I cover a couple updates really quick because we're going to, we're going to spend the rest of the time today on this call with him. And he is offered to share his, his wisdom. And, and, and sometimes it's really important that you, you know, you take, you take notes. So if um, I'm going to cover some highlights here, you guys should already be trained to bring pen and paper to take notes. You're going to want to take some notes and you want to take some understanding and he'll be on with us again. He is a, he's been a big part of what we do already. You guys remember I told you, um, well, if you're new, you're going to hear a little bit of a story. When we first started building this um, in 2008, um, and then there's a reason why we did it, but we, we started building this. We wanted to build a certain way. Had this amazing vision that God and I decided to do, and we spent huge fortunes to make it happen. We were, we were pouring money into it for eight solid years until we added our, our wine anchor, which changed everything. We got to break even, and then we found the next anchor, which made the system work, and, and this turned into profitability to where we could actually fund everybody's leads, and we could, we could build this fortune. And, and, and the thing about it is, is it's, it's building a fortune with all everybody we could help. We wanted to help those that couldn't afford it, those that could afford it. We wanted to, to build this utopian society. We had this vision and it's been, real, it's been realized. Well, as we continue to build it, as we continue to, to progress and we have all of these instructors stepping forward and everybody getting out of their own way and adapting and letting the time take that, that it takes to learn, we just get stronger and stronger and it's bringing us to the where things are colliding in a great way where we're gonna add even more opportunity. And I'm going to let you guys know that over the next course of, I guess, the next six weeks, as we get ready to launch two new huge anchors that are all under DTC Ambassador. So if you're in there, great. If you're not, you're going to be missing out on a lot more opportunity and things are going to change the first of the year. So get with your instructor. There's some options on how to get involved. Make sure you're set up in, in DTC Ambassador because everything is going to be under that umbrella. All right. And you guys know the power of the anchor. I'm just going to let everybody know we're going to we're talk about this more next Tuesday. Um, I'll break it down. We're going to be breaking it down with the instructor. Some things just happened to make this even more effective. We're going to talk about it with the instructors next Monday. And then next Tuesday, I'm going to roll out some more information. I'm going to tell you guys something. Um, 
you, you know, when you have a, a, like a home run, you know, it. You, you feel it as an entrepreneur, you know, you're behind something amazing. And this education program that we're rolling out. Um, and I know I've been, I've been, you know, talking to the instructors, we talked to the MSIs, we, we let them know that we were going to roll this out when we were at our Waikiki um, leadership event um, in June and, and explain where things were going and, and things just started getting ahead of time. Like we're ahead of schedule. So th there are some things going on there. And then today, um, Kenny and I were, you know, we're, we were in Vegas. We just got done with that awesome Vegas event. And I was meditating like I do. And I had the most amazing epiphany. And, and it's, it's just doing what we do, changing the way people are earn money, the partnership program with the education. So I'm going to put this out there. If you're a teacher or you know teachers, I'm about to change their entire world. We're going we're, we're gonna to do a massive paradigm shift and it's going to make everything work the way that it should work. And if you've read my book, it's going to fall right in line. And I had the absolute clearest vision on how to do this today. And, and I'm already instigating it and it's the perfect timing. Now, the reason why we can do a lot of this stuff is because we have the technology to do so. What what you guys also need to know is the person I'm about to bring on to, to share some time with you all is behind the, the technology being done. He, he, he and I get along amazing well. And, you know, you guys know we have, a, we have a, a CTO, which is Peter. That is a shared CTO. You know, that, that Peter is amazing. We call him Peter the Great here. But the man I'm about to bring on, if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have access to Peter. If it wasn't for him and the stuff that he put in and our circular paths that we go on, we wouldn't have all this technology to roll this stuff out there. And as we're doing all this, it's, it's, it, it, he's, he's going to come on and share some stuff. You guys listen to him. I'm also going to just like, remember, Niall, you bring it up there, legends in, in this world. This is another legend. And I have to let you guys know, there's not too many people that want to help the lowest common denominator, that person that can barely rub two nickels together to give them a better way, that understands it, that, come, that came from a situation where they understand the, the value of mentors and growth. And the more of those minds that we can share with you, the better. And as you know, this has been developing, he's been watching this develop and, and he's been the same as my other really dear friends in the space that are very well off and do things. Rory, what can I do to help? And he is always helping. And whenever we have a conversation, we were on the phone prior to this, just touching base again. But whenever we're on the phone, all it is is, okay, how's that going? What can we do to make things better? And, and Rory, I got some ideas. Let's, let's really make this so that it helps them out more. And, and I'm going to just tell you, there's, there's, there's very few people that I know that have the work ethic that I have that will just pound it out nonstop, that their, their grit and their whys are so big that they'll wake up every day and knock it out and, and go to bed exhausted only to wake up again in the next day to do it again, because it's not about them. It's about the purpose behind why they do what they do. So get ready for this. I'm going to bring him on. Um, some of you have had the experience to watch. We did a, uh, we did a uh, event out of, uh, well, we were all in Orlando and in, in, in the happiest place on earth. And he was our keynote speaker, right? For an event. So if you've been here for years, you you would have heard of you would have heard from him in, in well it's 2020, and um, we're bringing him on here. It's an amazing treat. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna welcome him on here. I'm gonna be, let me change this view really quick. I'm getting better at these tools, guys. And I gotta tell you, um, I'm so excited to have him on here. All right, hold on. Let's see. We're doing this one right here. And for those of you that have got the Grand Cru wines, you're going to recognize one of the labels that was in honor of him. That was a way for us to say thank you. Um, all right, here we go. All right, my amazing friend, Anthony Powell, everyone. And um, Anthony, we can just go right into it. I just want you guys to like pay attention. Um, we, we've got some scope on here. And, and because we have so many new people that since, especially since 2020 here, we're gonna just, we're gonna be doing a series of things over the next few weeks. So don't miss a Tuesday. 
And, and based on how schedules work, we're going to be having him back on for some more things. No Q&A today, guys. We're just going to just hear the wisdom, take it in, and we'll go to the end of the hour, and, and we'll go from there. So, Anthony, thank you so much for coming on. Um, man, it's, it's so good to have you be part of this. I, and you've been behind the scenes, but to bring you in the, in the focus here, it just makes me happy. Well, we all sound a little cliche. You guys, thank you for the edification. Thank you for the warm welcome. My gosh, it's, you know, a lot of you guys, I, I, it, we're all sound like we're on a big soapbox because we love each other so much. But I've known Rory for, I think, 26 years now. And exactly like he said, we have been through all of it. We've been through when the Internet wasn't even the Internet. And uh, we evolved through everything together. And, you know, we've always been on on the same path, but different paths and connecting the dots together to allow each other to succeed. And I'm just so happy and honored that I have a moment to be here with you guys. Uh, I'll just, for those of you that don't know me, my name's Anthony Powell. I have been in the direct sales industry. I'm now um, semi-retired, but I, I can never be officially retired. But I started at the age of 19 years old. And like many people, I had no money and no business uh, know-how. And, um, you know, I was in university at the time and it just wasn't my path. Um, I was raised by a single woman um, and growing up, I remember, um, you know, she put me through uh, private school, but she had to sweep the floors on the weekends of the church in order to pay for, you know, get half of the tuition paid for. So, you know, I'm six, six. And so being tall, at, I think I was like six foot at sixth grade. And, you know, I, I remember hearing her cry in the back room because she couldn't afford to put shoes on me. And that really impacted me to where I had to figure out what I had to do in my life so I could turn around and give her a better life. And so it just so happened that somebody brought me down to a meeting one day in Seattle, Washington. I saw it and I saw incredible stories walking across the stage. I saw people making incredible money. And I just knew that if I just put forth my effort, <clears throat> followed directions and did what my mentor told me, um, someday maybe I can make it too. And I uh, stayed at my job and I worked this part-time around my full-time job, as I stated. And, you know, by the end of my first year, I got to 7,000 a month part-time. Um, and then I quit my full-time job in uh, university. My family was not very excited about that, but I just knew that this was the, this industry was the industry to be in. And I'm going to share some things in a moment that I, I'm going to, that really impacted me to get me where I was able to go. But um, the second year, I held on to my mentor's coattails, and it just continued. Um, I'm the kind of guy, like Rory said, that when someone shows me the way, and uh, I just go ahead and do it. And that's exactly what I did. By the time I was 26 years old, I, I still pinch myself today. By the time I was 26 years old, I earned $10 million in the industry. And then I went on to do a little over $2 billion in sales in my organization and my career. Um, now, it's, it, to me, it still sounds like a dream come true because it's, it's I, saying those figures just blows me away. But, you know, you're talking to a guy that had a 400 credit score, which I think that's the worst you can possibly get and $150 to my name to then becoming a multimillionaire. And there's a few things that happen in order for me to do that. And I'm going to give you those here tonight. And I really feel that as you, as you heard today's the right place, the right time, because the leadership is intact. You know, Rory and the rest of the leaders here are all in all in unison. They're all together, knowing exactly where they are today and where they need to be tomorrow. And with when I talk to Rory, because I'm I'm kind of like his big brother or little brother, I don't know who's older or whatever, but sometimes they'll say, Hey, we're gonna go in this direction. And I'm like, hey, time out. Maybe you want to steer a little bit down the middle a little bit, because here's what's gonna happen, or vice versa, by the way. And that's what we've been able to do. And now when looking at where you guys are today. You guys are in the position to not only score, but to do a slam dunk. See, I had to pay for leads. I had to pay for all kinds of mentorship things to go to. I had to do things that I had to scrape by. Remember, I didn't have any money in the beginning. And that's first, when I was making 7,000 a month, I had to put all of that back into leads when I was growing my business and some. So I really, even though I was making 7,000 a month, I put it all back in advertising. And I just stayed the course, compounded it, compounded it, compounded it, stayed patient, did the phone calls. And the, th this is one thing I'll give you. I did the phone calls when I did not want to do the phone calls. So, you know, I'm going to share some of the things today with you guys that hopefully can impact you <clears throat> and hopefully that can help you get into the situation where down the road you can change your life like I did and other people have in this industry and totally have what you want. Because 
you know, I hate to say this, but I lost my mom about four years ago and she was not even retired yet. And she'd actually died in my hands. And even as sad as that is, and I miss her dearly, it really put life into perspective for me. We're not here forever. And, and every day is a gift that we have on this planet. So wherever we are, are and whoever we're around, you got to make sure that you love the people around you. You got to make sure that you impact the people around you. And you just got to be thankful for what you have and where and every day you have on this planet. And where I'm going with that is, is what you have here. And a couple of things that I want to share with you guys is I, I live by something called mind, body, and soul. Okay. Mind, body, and soul. Now I can talk about this because I was overweight at one time. I had to lose 130 pounds. Um, and I know what it's like to be overweight. And the first thing, and, I, and that comes with the body and the soul, and I'm going to talk about that. The first thing is the mind. You know, it sounds really weird that we tell you guys to read personal development books, but it really is important that you, you, you really get your mindset in, the, in, in order in order to have the capacity to build a business or to be a good mother or father or a sister or a brother or a friend. You got to get your mind right. And so I would encourage, if I can encourage you, whether you're a reader or you like to listen to audiobooks, please spend 30 to 45 minutes a day on developing your mind. Because my mentor, one of them, Jim Rohn, said, if you just do a half an hour to 45 minutes a day, you'll have equivalent of a four-year education in two years. And you're also going to have a capacity to understand the ups and downs in the business that you're going to be going through here. So... The first thing is the, is the reading. Now, when you read or you listen to an audio book, one of the things you want to be doing is, is you don't want to get through chapter to chapter to chapter to chapter. You want to do one or two chapters. If it's a short chapter, do two, but no more than two. And you want to highlight or write notes on the things that impacted you. And then what you want to do is you want to go back and reread that and ask yourself two questions. How can this impact my personal life? And how can this impact my business life? Because remember, guys, I didn't have business know-how. I didn't have, you know, money know-how. I didn't know. I have all that today, but I didn't have that when I first started. No one taught me that in my family. No one had money in my family. They were all hard workers, middle class, you know, got by. They lived paycheck to paycheck. We had Christmas and barely anything. But we got by and we all loved each other. But the point is, if you want to go to the next level and create an abundant life, you got to work on your mind. And you can't really, you just can't get past that. You know, I've met people that have made money but didn't work on themselves. And they're just as horrible as when they didn't have money. You know what I'm saying? And you just got to, it's the most important thing I can give you is work on yourself every single day, your mind capacity. Number two, and this was a hard one for me because I had to lose weight, is you got to get your body in order because your body is your temple. And you wouldn't put sugar in your gas tank. Your car wouldn't last very long, right? It's the same thing with your body. And I know we have stress. We have emotional ups and downs. We have all this stuff. And for me, here's this might sound funny to you, but my mentor said, take off all your clothes and jump up and down. And what's, what's wiggling has got to go. And there was a lot wiggling for me back then. <laughs> so I... <laughs> You know, so I was like, all right, I got to face the facts here. I got to get the weight off. And you know what I did? You know, it's discouraging when you got to lose 130 pounds. You feel like hell. You you just, you know, you're talking yourself out of it. It just is a whole thing. And what you got to do is just take baby steps every single day. And I'm not saying all, we all have to lose 100 and some pounds. I did. Whether you have to lose no pounds or five pounds or whatever, you got to get yourself on a treadmill. Now, I walked because I couldn't run. I had too much weight on my body. I just walked at two and a half miles an hour at a three incline. And guess what? Every week I was able to go a little bit faster. Every week. And that was something that, you know, it, whether it's one and a half mile, it doesn't matter how fast or slow you go. It's staying consistent at where you're going with yourself. And that was the little bitty successes is what allowed me to see that I was changing. It goes back to your mind. You read a little bit each day, you start seeing a little bit different way that you react to things, the way that you solve problems, the way that you correspond with your friends and family. Every single day, you get a little bit better. Same with your health. And it's a big deal. I care about every one of you. I don't know every one of you, but I care about every one of you because it changed my life. When I got my weight off, I went from like 320 pounds, geez, down to like 200, I think it was. 
And it changed my life. My attitude changed. My confidence level changed. My patience level changed. I used to blow up all the time. And, you know, it was just one of those things. So, you know, if you do or don't, if you don't have to lose weight, I would highly recommend. This is something that I recommend to everybody. You got to get, you got to go walk every day. You got to go run every day. You got to do some sort of cardio because you got to get oxygen to your brain. That's one of the number one things that you got to understand. You got to get some oxygen to your brain so you can relieve some stress. You can get yourself going. You can get your dopamine going. You got to get yourself moving here. And it's really important. And I screw up. I mean, I'm human just like everybody else. There's days I just went on a trip uh, to Puerto Rico and then Miami. And I was gone for six days. I only did the gym four out of six days. I missed two days. But the last thing is what the mind and body does when you get consistent at it, it really makes your soul feel good. You start having a complete soul. And, it, and it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a little science, mind, body, soul. It's something that all my guys, all of us work on is our mind, body, and soul. And when we're having a bad day, because we do have bad days, we're human, we go back and we'll think about, number one, being grateful. And then this is something I'll teach you guys. I used to not be a morning person. And one day Jim Rohn looked at me and says, you you're making a decision to not be a morning person because you keep telling yourself the minute you wake up, how you don't want to wake up, you feel like crap and you don't want to get out of bed. Why don't you switch your thinking to the minute you wake up, say out loud what you're grateful for. So I do that every single day. When I wake up, I say what I'm grateful for. And it, it just changes things. You put a smile on your face, you go get your coffee or whatever you do. And you start doing either get some oxygen to your brain, got walking or running or whatever you do, and then come back and do your personal development. Those are the things that I do in order to get my mind, my body, my soul, my head, everything ready to go for the day. And the last thing I do, and I'm going to get on to the next thing, is I do my to-do list. And the to-do list is something that is absolutely crucial that you start getting your life in order on a to-do list. And I, I write everything out or, you know, majority of it's already out. But I put a number one, a number two, or a number three next to each one of those things on the to-do list. And a number one's got to get done today. A number two's got to get done today or tomorrow. And a number three has got to be done this week. And of course, threes become twos and twos become ones. And when you get orderly like that, in the beginning, if you don't operate like this, it's kind of like, oh, God. But once you get in, in, in rhythm... The magic word is consistency, right? Consistency with reading, consistency with your body, consistency with doing your to-do list. All of a sudden, things start coming together for you. Start crossing things off. You start feeling good. You start seeing progression. You start, you know, things start coming around for you. And little by little, this is the thing. Like, you start changing as a person, right? The next thing that happens is what you used to like, maybe you're a reactor, or maybe you're a procrastinator, or maybe you are allowing people with negativity to harbor your mindset. You start not allowing those things to happen in your life anymore. And little by little, you'll notice the change. And I, you know, I'm not saying that this is what you guys got to do, but I had to change my center of influence. I had doubters around me. I had people that said, this will never work. I had people that were always like, oh, yeah, you know, why don't you get a job and do all that? I had all that just like everybody else does, but I had to make a decision to stop communicating with those people and focus on getting my mind wrapped around about where I'm going. And eventually the, the same type of person that I started showing up, the person that I was becoming, I started meeting people that wanted the same thing I wanted. And that was to change my life, you know, for my body, my mind and financially, you know, and there's a lot of people on here are not, maybe you're spiritual, maybe you're not, but listen, God didn't make, uh, us to have coal. He made us to become abundant. You got to live abundantly. Okay. And everything on this earth is there for you. Okay. There's plenty of money for everybody. You just got to go earn it. Anything of value is hard. And because it's hard because you got to become when you become, it becomes easy. Not it, it becomes simple. So that's kind of the, the basic things that allowed me to, you know, change from this broke person overweight and didn't have direction to becoming the person I am today. And it was a lot of work, guys. I'm going to tell you right now, it's a lot of work. But if you put your mind on it and you make a goal, little by little, you're going to get yourself where you need to go over time. And that's what happened to me. Now, as far as where the, the company is here, I, I just I watch from behind because, you know, 
my my group builds the built the system you guys are all on. Of course, Rory has been a major part of that. He's a genius at what he does. I've watched him for 20 some years. He's a genius. And so when he and I get together, we just have these, sometimes we can't get off the phone because we're just like two little girls on a phone call and we just, and so we're like, wait a minute, I can't write this down. Hold on, don't go on to the next thought until I get this down. But anyways, the system, you guys are going to see a major uh, addition to the system. If you're brand new to the, to the, the company now, you don't even know what I'm talking about, but we just spent a quarter million dollars on updating the system and you guys will be seeing the next version of the system here very soon. You know, I don't want to give you a date because I don't want to sit here. And it's two weeks and then it's four. But I've already spent all the money. I've already had all the design work done. Now the developers are just coding the last little bit of stuff. And you guys are going to see a complete refresh on your back office here real shortly. And what it's going to do for you is it's when we built, when we did this last edition, I said, I don't want to update for today's look and feel. I want to look like tomorrow's look and feel. So it's going to be a major deal that you guys are going to be seeing the contact managers, the LMS training, the lead distribution, everything. I mean, everything you can possibly think of your wine, your the little drip system, everything has been redone and it does. It's not being done. It is done. Now the design's just being programmed into the uh, to make it a reality. So the, why is that important? See, a system is something that is the most important part of a business second to you having a commitment to do it. Because think of McDonald's when you green is Sprite and red is Coke. When you hear two beeps, that means the fries are done. You put the salt shaker over twice. See, a 15 year old can run a, a billion dollar enterprise. They did that because they built a systematic approach around the model. So you don't need some rocket scientist to do it. You need a systematic approach. And once you have a systematic approach, anybody can do it. And I didn't tell you guys this, but utilizing this system, I put 820,000 people into my organization in 15 years with the system that you guys are using right now. 820,000 people signed up in my organization utilizing the system here. We produced 250 millionaires, thousands of six-figure earners, and the list goes on and on and on. And I was just, it's just amazing. And, and that's like what Rory said, the, the, the people you meet along the way are going to be some of your best friends for the rest of your life. So the system allowed us to all have that. And I can tell you this because I have a lot of people that I consult. Hardly anybody has a true step-by-step -step turnkey system. I mean, there's people that have back offices and things like that. But you can't really build an organization or a business or a customer base with the system that the other companies have. And I'm real proud to say that we have not only have it, but you have it at your fingertips, which leads me to the leads. You know, you guys got free leads, right? And, and Rory, you did something that, again, you were smarter than me. You figured out a way to give people free leads. And I think it's the most genius thing I've ever seen in my life. Guys, it is an impossibility unless you cement yourself to the floor that you can't make it here having free leads. I mean, think about it. And I'll tell you what I did. And, you know, you can do more, you can do less. But this is just a presentation game, guys. It's just a presentation game. And once I realized that it's just law of averages and it's just a presentation game, I realized that all I need is a yes or a no for every lead that I have. That's all you need. It doesn't matter if they say yes. It doesn't matter if they say no, because what happens is the leads all work themselves out over a period of time. You're going to have yeses and you're going to have noes. And so here's what I did. My first uh, 36 months, <clears throat> and I'll back it up behind this once I tell you this, I signed up personally 561 people into my organization. Not my organization. I personally signed up 561 people. Now, out of the 561, 162 people stepped up and rank advanced. Okay? Stepped up and rank advanced. Of the 162, um, 27 of them became a top tier rank. Okay, you guys have your own ranks and all that good stuff here. So 27 became a, a top tier rank. And out of 27, 14 became millionaires. Now, did I sign up 14 people? Nope. I had to sign up 561 people personally. Now, you may do a lot less. I was not very good in the beginning, I got to tell you. But I signed up 561, which gave me 162. That gave me 27 
highly ranked, which gave me 14 millionaires. That was my first 36 months. Now, I'll tell you what I was doing. I was signing. So if you do the math, I was signing up about 14 new people a month. So all I had to do was I had to figure out how many presentations do I need to do to get one person signed up? That's what I had to figure out first. And it turned out that I had to do five presentations to get one person signed up. Now, I can't believe you have free leads. That means you guys can do as many presentations as you want. Uh, I'm really jealous because <laughs> I had to pay $120 for one lead. See what I'm saying? So if it took me five leads to get one sale, you can do the math. It's like over $600 to get a sign up is what I personally paid. And I didn't have the money in the beginning. I was putting on credit cards and all kinds of stuff, but I saw where I was going. So what you got to do is in the beginning stages of doing presentations, you may be one out of seven. You may be one out of six. Maybe you're a hot shot. You get one out of three. See, what you're mostly after here is to figure out what your number is. How many presentations to get one person to sign up, right? Once you know that, <clears throat> then what you need to do is you need to work on your craft, your tonality, the way that you talk on the phone, the way that you allow people to say, yes, uh-huh, sure, yes, I want it. See, when you start getting in rhythm or said differently, when you read the scripts over and over and over again, you get what's called a skill set. A skill set is where you are and where you're going. So if it, so a skill set when I first started was one out of five. That was my skill set. Well, guess what I did? I didn't accept one out of five. I said, this is where I'm at. What I did was, is I worked on how I presented on the phone. Like every single time I was on the phone, I did my best presentation that I thought. And over time, I got to one out of three, which means I needed less presentations to get one person to sign up. And, you know, just like when I had to lose 130 pounds, I didn't, if I was trying to lose 30 pounds in a month and I only lost five, it would have been a major like blowout, right? But I put little bitty steps in front of me to lose that 130 pounds, right? When I lost two pounds, I was like celebrated. It's the same thing here. When you read the script over and over and over again, okay, then eventually you're going to take ownership of what you're reading eventually you're going to sound better. Eventually you're going to have a better skill set and it's going to go your way. What you don't want to do is just see what happens because you're going to see yourself out of the business. You want to really make sure that you get our, our focus laser focused on presentations and then it will all come to fruition for you. Now, that being said, you know, I, I started to understand that that was the deal, right? That it was a presentation game. Well, once I figured out it was a presentation game and my, it's not if I'm going to make it, it's when I'm going to make it. Cause it was just, I was just X number of presentations away from the rank advancing to the next level. And then I was X number of presentations to the, the, the third level and the fourth and the fifth. I just was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to win the lottery here by doing the work. And I did it. And then, and, and, uh, by my third year, I got up to 100000 a month. Uh, my biggest month was seven figures a month in this industry. And I don't say that to impress any of you because I, it, I, it blew me away. But it just made me realize that it was just a presentation game. And then guess what I did? Once I started signing people up, I started to realize that I, I needed to train my people to do the same thing. That's all I had to do. Some people would follow me. Some people would not follow me. But here's one thing that I did do that I teach everybody. And you don't have to do this. I just remember I was after a yes or a no. I didn't care if they said yes or no. If they said yes, of course, I'm going to welcome them and hug on them and put them in the system. Rory's got this outrageous training system that you guys have put people through. And what I did was, <clears throat> is, let's see, I basically uh, did what was called the one hour, the one hour schedule. Okay. And you, again, you can do this or not do this. And what I did was, on the top of the hour was all my appointments, right? So whatever appointments you have or sales presentations or whatever you're doing, training calls, things like that, I put them on the top of the hour. At the bottom of the hour, I dial through my leads. So therefore, if I worked eight hours or 10 hours or five hours or four hours, I would once an hour dial through my leads because I'm after a yes or a no right? I'm, I'm dialing for dollars. And what I started to notice was 
the people that didn't operate this way had leads piling up and they were going, oh, it doesn't work. I don't know what's going on. The thing doesn't work. And they dialed the phone once or twice and sometimes once or twice in three days. I'm like, I don't know what you're doing, but I'm dialing once an hour. I dial through all my leads. I do my appointments in the top of there. See, I got organized. And then I noticed that in my contact manager, I was having less and less people to call because I was already getting the yes or no's. I was like, come on, bring on the lead. Let's go. Hurry up. I'm done. And people were like freaking out. I'm rank advancing. Everyone else is giving excuses why it's not working. And I am crushing it. I'm all, and I'm showing them. I'm like, I don't want to dial the phone that much. And I'm like, well, here's my check. And they're like, holy Toledo, you made 10,000? Like, yeah, I just showed you the one hour dial schedule. That's all I'm doing. And I taught that to everybody in my organization. And that's how I became the number one distributor in my company that did 6 billion a year. It was nothing from, I had a special talent. It had no special <laughs> education. I just figured out the plan. And that's what I did. And you know, the greatest thing about this is there's a magic word that I tell everybody and I would advise you to put it in your subconscious level. It's called consistency. Consistency, no matter what. That's it. I mean, we, we talk about this all the time with, with this industry or you can be consistent with eating Doritos all day and guess what's going to happen? You're going to get overweight. You can be consistent with dialing the phone and you're going to eventually get making some money. You can be consistent with following up on your kids and eventually they're going to get it down. You can consistently not follow up on your kids and they're going to have, go down the wrong direction. Consistency is the name of the game in life, guys. Remember we talk about mind, body, soul? See, that sets the consistency up. When you have this in you and how you operate, things get a little easier for you. And, and to top it off, you got the best leadership in this company I've ever seen. I mean, you, you heard what was before Rory got on the kind words that Niall said. That's facts. We don't, it's, it's like we sound cliche that we're all talking like this, but you don't find a group of people that come together no matter what, that care about. I was at the bottom of the food chain in life. I had to eat top ramen, like, you know, the 10 for a dollar thing. And the tuna can deal, <laughs> that deal, that's where I started from. I get going from the bottom to the top, but it's it only happens by mind, body, soul. It only happens by consistency. It only happens with what is my plan? I'm going to get good at presentations. And you're going to get some no's and people that are going to say, no, no, I just can't. Stay the course. Yes or no. Yes or no. Yes. Put them in the training system. No. Thank you very much. Next call. You got to have that mindset. It's next call. You got you can't let people whatever they say to you to affect where you're going in life. Because everyone, you know, you heard the Debbie Downers or you hear the, the people that always say nothing's gonna work. You don't want to entertain that. If I entertain that, there's no way I'd be sitting in front of you right now. There's no way. There's just no way. And so I just I can't say it enough how honored I am to be part of this on the back end. Uh, I, I can't say it enough to see, let me think about it, guys, where you guys are right now, you're in the, even though this company's growing like crazy, you're in the infant stage. Those of you that really get what I'm saying right now and get your arms into this deal, you can become ma major legends because the company's going to the 100 million, the 200 million. Can you imagine right now, if you anchor down and get to work, you can be one of those legends. I watched it in my company. I watched people that were, that were, <laughs> You name it, farmers, nurses. Uh, I mean, I can't even like like people that work for the DMV that had made hundreds of millions of dollars because they were part of the company when the company was doing a million dollars a year or two million a year. And then, then once it grew to the hundred million and the two hundred million, they just couldn't believe where they were in life. They never had to work a day in their life because of what they did that first five years. So if I can inspire or encourage or really get you guys to understand that if there's ever a time to go to work, if there's ever a time to dig in, you know, first steps is get that mind, body, soul under control, have a moment of time with yourself and get quiet and really think about where you are right now. Don't beat yourself up. Don't, you know, it's easy to go, oh, get discouraged and beat the hell out of your mind. Don't do any of that. It is what it is. The past is the past. Whatever happened yesterday and beyond the time you were born is yesterday. 
If you take the past into today, you're going to lose. So if I can encourage any of you guys or inspire you to just take individual responsibility for where you are and where you're going to go, then God bless you. And, you know, here we go. Here's to success. And I'm going to be on here in a couple of weeks and, and I'm going to be sticking right alongside of Rory about the progression. I can't wait to see this. I can't wait to see Rory cross that hundred million. We're going to be celebrating. Can't wait to see you guys walk across the stage, wherever you are in this company, you're important. If you're not, if you're not after the big millions, it doesn't matter. What matters is that you're part of the company. So Rory, thank you so much for allowing me to come on and talk to the group tonight. And I'm excited, man. You guys have got a lot going on here. You know, um, first of all, like always, I, I appreciate all your time to give and, and our shared truths. You know, we know how this works. And you guys, I got to tell you, some of you guys have seen me work, right? And, and like those that have visited our house or been with Tanya, I wake up and I go to work. You don't see me till the end of the day because I work that schedule. This guy does the same thing. There's, there's a clue there. And, and Anthony... I won't, if you could touch base on one important thing before we close out tonight, and then we'll, we'll go over a little bit, but a lot of people don't understand what it means to have that strong why. And, and without a strong why, you're not going to get up every day. And, and the grateful thing is there, but people need to know that focus. And you, you had a why, like, like me, we, we have very similar backgrounds. We just didn't want to live like we were raised anymore. We wanted a better life. We were like done with this. We deserve better. We're going to go get it whatever that means, right? And we had that drive in that direction, but what what has helped you with like the why thing like the most? Well, the first one was my mom watching her cry. The second thing is we're God's gift. We're meant to win. We're supposed to win. But a lot of times we get around people that we're supposed to be that think mediocre and we're supposed to just, you know, pretty much live at the bottom of the food chain the rest of our life. That's not what we're intended to do in this life, guys. We have one life to live and your why has got to be anchored down inside of you where maybe it's your kids. Maybe it's whatever the deal. For me, I, I, I know this sounds crazy. Everyone says I had a dream board and I put down that I went to the house I wanted to live in because I lived in a not a nice house. I had a car with 200,000 miles on it that had oil spills all over it. And I put down the kind of car that I want to drive someday. I put down, you know, the charities that I wanted to contribute to. And I was really passionate for the single moms because, you know, I was raised watching my mom cry. And there's a, a little things that you wanted to, to, you know, get done. And the thing is like this. Unfortunately, guys, we don't barter goats and we don't exchange services just to live anymore. You got to make money. Money is like oxygen. If you don't have enough of it, it is hard to breathe. So you got to get that out of the way so you can see and, and breathe. And once you can breathe, and I'm, when I mean breathe, I mean you don't got to wait two weeks to, to buy a plane ticket. You, you can show up at the gate and say, yeah, I'm going to go to Chicago. And it doesn't matter if it's $200 or $1,500, you're going to Chicago. When you can breathe the way you want to breathe, life is different. Then once the money's out of the way, then you can have whatever you want. Time freedom is the number one why that I wanted. It wasn't the, the material things. I've had all the material things, but I went through that stage where, you know, you want to experience it all. And when, when you get to the other side, you just want peace and happiness is really what you really want after you get done with having the money. So that was my one. Thanks, bud. And, and, and you... And you, I mean, you developed your why as you went going too, right? Like you made it bigger and bigger. And, and I think, you know, we've been doing these trainings these last weekends and I got, I got one coming up in Michigan guys, by the way, get to Michigan if you can get there, but, and we're going to, we'll talk about patterns and the whys there too. But, you know, a lot of people don't know what their why is because you don't think you deserve something better. Look around, look at your kids, look at you, you, you and everybody you touch deserves better. And it's God wants you to have it. You just got to show up and do the work and we've given you a path to do it and we pull you along with it. Yeah. Can I mention this, Rory? Because this was one of the biggest things that changed my life in this industry. And if you guys could write this down this and just uh, put it by the phone when you're working the phones, it's qualify for everything. Whatever the promotion is, you got to qualify for it. Okay, and what this does for you is two things. Number one, it in increases your sales by going after something. Okay, and it makes you do more than what you would normally do to qualify. But number two, once you get into the qualification events, you meet people 
and you have a bond with people that you would never have before because you have other people that have stretched. Like there was one time when I was brand new in the industry and the qualification was to do $20,000 in business in one month. And I hadn't done more than 2000. Okay. And I just wrote it down because they said qualify for everything. Now my mindset was 2000 a month. See, but I went after the qualification. So you had to do it for, you know, you had to do 20,000 volume points over a three month period. I think it was. And that was way more than my mind or my, remember the mind, body, soul. That was way more than my capacity was thinking, but I went for it. I made a decision. I'm going to qualify for that event. Once I got to that first event and qualified for it, I never missed another event ever again in my career, ever. I never missed another event. That is what allowed me to rub the shoulders with the people that were at the top of the company. I got to have the backdoor conversations with the owners and the, and the, and the VPs and all that stuff. It really got me to ch it changed my life. I never not qualified again. So write it down. Qualify for everything. Sorry, Roy. No, oh, that was that was absolutely stellar. Um, True. And it, I, I'm seeing the comments here. You guys, there's I a think reason. it was. I think it was two months, Anthony. It wasn't a three months qualification. <laughs> yeah, I think right. it was two yeah, months. You're right. You're right. <laughs> the, you guys, there's a reason when when Anthony and I talk, it sounds very similar. It's shared truths, right? Yeah. And. And, and, and I wanted to bring him on just, you know, A, he, he wants to help everybody. That he, it's genuine from his heart. You guys, we all need people around us that are going to rise us up and push forward. And we, we both know what it's like to be at the very bottom of life and, and struggling on stuff. And then what it's like to rise above. And that's, that's a gift we can share to others. If they're willing to take it and run with us. Yeah. Yeah, it is. You know, it's just a... Uh... You know, the, you, there's a there's a thing that that I live by. It's people first and business second. And if you can do business with if you if you love the people, then the business is going to come. No question about it. All right, guys, we this is the treat. We're going to have it on again in a couple more weeks. Just don't miss Tuesdays. Yeah, don't miss Tuesdays. Um, when, I, when I come back, yeah. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to give the next chapter of this of today's training. How about that? That's awesome. Awesome. Never right, miss a Tuesday night call. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Anthony, it's it's good to see your face again. And uh, we we you know we had some of the same mentors back then: the dream yeah. board hanging on the wall, the belief system, the consistency, and the do more than everybody else is doing. Yeah. And you yeah, guys, how bad you want it, right? What are you willing to do? Everybody, I mean, you guys want a better life. That's why you came here. Like we're gonna guide you to get there. Just get out of your own way and know that we're there. And you, and you can even do baby steps along the way. Yeah. Right. Um. Hey, two things. Um. Saturday, we have our normal training schedule. We're gonna be teaching people how to do the BRT and work the lead process. That we do that every week. We do it throughout the days. Right. Your instructor, your MSI, they're all there to help you learn this stuff. We win when you win. We just need to teach you how to do it, and you just gotta dive in and go. And it's the most forgiving thing ever. You mess up a lead, you start a new on the next one. No one cares. No one cares. We know you're going to burn through it. You're going to fail forward. Do it. Receive it and run. Um, we're after that training on Saturday. That's the third hour of training. I'm doing a, another marathon of posting. We're going to be posting the holidays and weight loss ads. We're going to be doing that all until I drop. Well, until I drop, I have to get on a plane Sunday. So that's going to happen Saturday. Um, this coming week and you know wine Wednesday tomorrow so you guys there you guys got your awesome trainings on Thursday and, and, and Friday you know make sure you're knocking out your PBS's get everything modified get Google AdSense and then get part of this be marketing we've given you everything to grow this and help more people as we do so the more you guys get this out there it's going to make a lot of sense now over the next few weeks we're going to be rolling out a lot of amazing things Next week, we're bringing on a CPA. It's our CPA that does Tanya's and my, all of our company's businesses, all of them. He's going to open up the door to help everybody here so that we can streamline this stuff. It's one of the biggest questions I get. Like, I got these 1099s coming. I'm making this money. How do I do? Wait till I hear what, wait till you hear what he's going to mean to offer everybody on, on Tuesday. I'll, 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 I'll spill. Actually, I'm not going to spill the beans. It'll be on Tuesday. But anybody that hasn't ever had a business before, you need to be on Tuesday, period. And, and I don't care if you bring family and friends that aren't part of Triple R to hear all this. It's an amazing thing to know. And a lot of people get scared to do a business because they don't know the taxation because they don't teach it to you in school. We're going to give you guys full education on it because we're, we're trying to see people make more money. 
we got to help you guys, you know, structure that properly. And that's going to start. Now, Anthony keeps talking about the, the, the system. You guys know that what, what, what was formerly known as the grapevine, it's now going to be called the FMS Vortex because we're going to a whole different level. That's the system he's talking about. As of the first of the year, things are going to be changing. So if you're not set up with that system, you want to get it because we're going a whole new process forward. We'll explain it. So if you're not, if you're in and you don't have, if you're not, first of all, get with your instructor. We're going to walk through stuff by next week, but you need to get that system. We're going to give you the leads to walk, but that, that follow-up system, I'll, I'll ask, Anthony, I'm going to ask you this. All that success that you've had and continue to have, could you imagine not having a follow-up system to help us track people down? No, um, <laughs> the answer is no. That's a long answer, but no, I would never imagine that. Right? And 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 what we have today with what, where, where the technologies have taken us, right? This system is like, we never had things as good as this ever before. And and all the sequencing and all the stuff that we can do, you know, it, guys, I don't, I don't think you guys understand how great it is. But wait till we start putting more and more of those leads in there and you see the processes there. All that technology, all that wish list, that's made possible because Anthony was setting stuff up. It, it, you guys, we are so blessed. All right. We'll see you guys um, on, the, on the next trainings. See you guys in Michigan. I can't wait. And um, Saturday is going to be a great training day.